Hi there, I'm Paul, the developer of Microcosm. I've released a couple other trailers, but they were both focused mostly on time-lapse shots, so I thought it would be neat to do something where I actually walk folks through the game a bit in real time. So I've started work on this drawing of a semi-truck, but there are a few more things I want to add to it, and I'm going to walk through them with you. First off, it's getting dark now, so let's add some headlights. I can just tap one of the lights on my palette, make sure I'm in replace mode using my dominant touchpad, and then pop them into place. There we go, much better. All right, now as I move around to the back of the truck, you can see I've finished up most of the interior. There's a little bed and a table with a cactus on it and some cabinets on the other side. Let's add a bit more light inside the cabin. Maybe something that looks a bit more artificial. Um, nice, that's looking good. Now that the cabin interior is finished up, we should close it off. Normally the back of a semi-truck would be blocked off, but in this case I want to leave a bit of an opening so folks can see inside easily. So what I'm going to use, do is use some glass instead. I'll snag the red glass from my palette, and then use the dominant grip to click and drag an area where we want the glass to be. Perfect. You can still tell there's supposed to be a wall there, but you also get a nice view of the inside. Now that the cabin is finished, the last thing I want to do is put these missing wheels on. So we can grab the main color here by using the dominant menu button to pick the existing voxel color from the world. Now I'll use the box selection tool to place the outlines of the new wheels. After the wheel outlines are in place, I'll pick the next color and use the replace mode to paint the new color onto the existing voxels. Then I can simply grab the last color, place it, and place our last piece of axle. Okay, great. I think this drawing is set, so now I'm gonna save the final version. In order to do that, I'll need to pop the camera off my head. That probably doesn't make much sense, so I'm gonna put a picture in picture up that shows what's actually going on in my headset. As I press the left menu button, you can see that the main view now is being dragged along with that controller. There's a small digital camera that appears in the headset showing what's being displayed on the desktop monitor. This camera also acts as the save load interface. I'm gonna position the camera to get a nice shot of both the inside and the outside of the truck, and then click the save button on top to save it. As you can see, it's now stored in this interface where I can click back and forth, navigate my saves, and then load any of them by clicking again. All right, I think that about does it. Thanks for taking a look at Microcosm, and I hope you enjoyed.